few weeks ago, I did a video showing people how to create fully automated blog articles using Zapier, ChatGPT, and Dolly 2. Today, we're going to upgrade those articles to use Dolly 3 for the images because they are drastically better. If you didn't catch that video before, it's in this same playlist. I just want to get the information out there for free because I think that generative AI is one of those things that people are just now discovering all the different use cases for it. And so we might as well have fun with it along the way. Now, here's an example of one of the articles we created previous to this. You can see it has a decent thumbnail. It has some nice text. It has a summary of the article. It was my insult bot. So it would take an article and make sort of an insulting version of itself. And you can see one of the things that kind of bothers me about these is the thumbnail image or the kind of title image of this isn't very good. And that was really a limitation of Dolly 2. Now, since then, Dolly 3 has come out. It isn't quite a drop-in replacement. We're going to have to do something a little special. But, man, I think you can tell when I switched over to Dolly 3 here, it's pretty drastic. So here's an example of an image that's generated with Dolly 3. First of all, it's a widescreen aspect ratio. You're not just limited to 512 by 512. The other thing is it looks so much better. You can even get coherent text, which was something that was almost impossible to do with earlier models. And you can see this is an article about OpenAI and Sam Altman being ousted from the company, and you even have OpenAI on the podium there. Pretty amazing. So how do we do this? Let's jump in and take a look. Now, the first thing you need to do is jump back over to Zapier. You're going to go back in and just click to edit one of your previous zaps. So what we did previously is we had an RSS feed that would trigger a new article being created. From there, it would go in and it would create a different version of that article using ChatGPT, create a title for that article, and then it would finally create an image prompt for that article. And that would go into Dolly 2. All right, so down here in step number five, this is where we're going to do the bulk of our work. We're going to go ahead and click on that to edit it. And you can see that we're still using the OpenAI GPT-3 Dolly Whisper plugin. But for the event type, previously we had gone down here and we had chose Generate Image. This only uses Dolly 2. There's no option to select Dolly 3. So instead we're going to go scroll down and you'll see API Request Beta. This is a really cool thing because if you jump over to OpenAI's website, they have a whole bunch of documentation about all the different API endpoints they have. This just so happens to be their create image endpoint. And you can see within here, it's a post to this URL. This is the API request URL, and it'll create an image given a prompt. Let's look over at the example request that they send over. So you can see here that the model that they're using, you can select Dolly 2 or Dolly 3. You can give it a prompt, in this case, a cute baby sea otter number of images, and then the size. If you look over here on the sort of middle of this, you can see the different request parameters that you can send over. So first of all, it can use up to 4,000 characters for the prompt. It was a thousand max length for Dolly 2. The model, obviously Dolly 3, number of images, quality. I like to select HD here because as it states, it uses a little bit finer detail and it creates better consistency throughout your image generations. Response format, we're gonna default it to URL. That's gonna be, it returns a URL to us. The size, now you used to only be able to use 256, 512, or 1024 square images. Now, look at this, you can do 1024, or you can do widescreen 1792, or you can do vertical 1792 for the height. All pretty cool. Style, you can do vivid or natural. I like vivid. It tends to have a little bit more realism to it, a little bit more drama, and a little bit better looking images. So let's jump back over and we'll start popping some of this information in there. So we'll click continue. Right here at the top, you're gonna select post for the method. That matches the API that we just saw over on OpenAI. And then you're gonna paste in the URL. So again, just for reference, that's this URL right here. I'm gonna leave all of this down in the description below so that you don't get stuck or have any issues along the way. Now for query parameters, we're gonna leave that empty. We don't need anything there, but for additional request headers, we do need to fill in a couple details here. You need to do content dash type, that's with a capital C and a capital T, very important. And then for the response, we're going to do application slash JSON. That just means that it's going to send back a JSON response to us. For the body, we're also going to drop in 
essentially the details from one of these example requests from the OpenAI documentation, but I've modified it slightly. So you can see here, we're using Dolly 3 for the model. Our prompt will go in right here. Number of images will be one. Size will be that 1792 widescreen, style vivid and quality HD. Now, where do you get the prompt? It's a great question. What you can do is you can click here and you can see that there's this insert data. So we know that from our previous video, this one, two, three, four, fourth step down is a conversation in ChatGPT that generates an image prompt. So we're gonna go ahead and select that. Then we're gonna scroll down and we'll see that there's a reply section right here. So we're gonna click on that and you can see that gets pasted right into our prompt. So now that prompt that we had ChatGPT create for us is going to get used as the prompt for this API request. So once that's done, go ahead and click continue again. And now we can retest the step. This is this button down at the very, very bottom. And if all goes well, we should get a Dolly 3 image out of this. So let's test it out. All right, let's take a look. So if you look and you scroll down here, you can see Dolly 3 prompt. It filled in the prompt properly. Unleash your creativity, harness the power of OpenAI's chatbot for idea generation. If we scroll all the way to the bottom, we see this URL. Go ahead and copy that. This is the URL that's in the response. It'll be the actual image. So if we copy this and we actually open it in a new tab, it should have our image. And there you go, beautiful. This looks so much better than the Dolly 2 images. I'm really blown away by this. Now, of course, you can play around with the type of prompt that it's used to generate this, but this gives you a good starting point at least. Now, if this didn't work for some reason, instead of having the URL down here at the very bottom, you'd have an error message. You can take that error message and sort of understand where it's going wrong or what's getting messed up. But there's a couple more steps we wanna take here. That's done, this is working, so that's beautiful. I do want to go back to my conversation in chat GPT for step number four. And what I want to do here is previously we were using GPT 3.5 turbo to generate the prompt. Now, instead, I want to change the model to GPT four simply because GPT four pricing has come down. It's speed has gone up and it creates a little bit better quality. Now, I've changed that in the drop down to GPT-4. I've also changed my prompt a little bit. So I said, create a very short, simple image prompt for Dolly that describes a photorealistic image for a blog post. Don't include any punctuation or special characters in your output. What I found is if I don't put that last part, sometimes you'll get special characters that you then need to go in and use another Zapier step to filter out. But by doing this, it seems to mostly work. So that's just a, another tip that's gonna make your life a little easier. The final thing you need to do is go to the upload media in WordPress step. And we're gonna make a couple small changes here. Now the file section, this used to point to something else. So what we need to do here is drop down and we'll go to our API request beta, this is new, and then we'll scroll down until we see response data URL. Go ahead and click on that. That's gonna give us the right information to post to WordPress. Now in the file name, we wanna do the same thing. Click here, go to the Dolly request, the API request, and then scroll down to response data URL. Click on that again, and then remember that at the very end, we have to add .png. You just type that in here. So you've got your response here, .png. What that's gonna do is just make sure that the file name has an image type. For whatever reason, WordPress just doesn't like this if it doesn't. That's all you have to do though. You click continue, everything from there is good to go. Now you can go ahead and retest this step, upload everything to WordPress, and if all works well, you should have something like this show up on your blog. Let me know down in the comments below if you have any questions on this. I'm gonna do several more tutorials and updates on this as time goes on, so I'd love to hear from you. Otherwise, hit that like and subscribe, and we'll check you next time. Thanks.